In this video, I will explain what is the meaning of book value and how to calculate book value per share of a company or a stock. So before I tell you the calculation part, let me explain you what is the meaning of book value. So right now I have opened the screener.in and you can see that for Infosys book value is 182 rupees per share. And the current price is 1245. The simple meaning of book value is that if this company goes into liquidation, in that case, you will get 182 rupees per share. So if you are holding one share of Infosys today, and if company goes into liquidation, then you will get 182 rupees back. That means you are incurring huge loss, right? Because you paid 1245 rupees to buy one share. So when the company goes into liquidation, all the assets are sold, then all the debt is paid and a remaining portion is given to shareholders. So you can see here that since the book value is much less than the current price, the investors will make huge losses if the company goes into liquidation. And down here they have given the price to book value as well, 6.85. Higher this number, that means the risky investment is. I hope this clears the concept of book value. Now let me explain how to calculate the book value per share. First of all, I will explain how you can calculate the book value of the entire company. And then we will go to the book value per share. So to calculate the book value, you have to go to the balance sheet. And you can see that balance sheet is over here. They have given this balance sheet for this March 2023. So let us calculate based upon these numbers. So to calculate the book value, what you have to do is that you have to get the total assets. Total assets are 1,24,596 crores. So let us grab this number. So that is the total assets. Now we have to subtract all the debts that this company has. So let us grab the debt. And debt for this company is the sum of this this number and this number so basically all the borrowings the loans that this company has taken and all the payments that this company has to make so these numbers we have to add it here so 40,000 and around 8,000 so you can see here it comes around 49,189 so that is the total debt so what will happen is that the company will sell all the assets and by selling all the assets it is gonna get this this much money 1,24,596 crores but since there is a date of 49,189 crores what, what is remaining is called as net worth or the net assets of the company or it is also called as the book value of the company and you can see that the book value of the entire company is 75,407 crores but what we are interested in is calculating the book value per share now to calculate the book value per share all you have to do is that you have to divide this number by total number of outstanding shares okay to get the outstanding shares for the Infosys you can get it from here number of equity shares 415 you can see here so that number is 415 and to calculate this book value you can see that I am dividing this E16 cell that is this number 75,000 crore 407 by this number 415 uh, crores so these many shares are outstanding and if you divide this that number you will get which is called as book value per share that is 181.70 which is around 182 and that's why it is showing 182 over here right in front of book value generally value investors use this particular ratio to find undervalued stocks of the companies that's it thanks for watching